Oh. It was difficult to find the wire, more precisely the wires. Be quiet, Inferno. God, I can't believe this. Streaming while I'm trying to record a video. Hello. Welcome to door number 10. Luckily it's right up there so I can do it on the desk. My bed is currently occupied by another baked beans on toast remains. That is 10, right? Yeah. Yes it is. This is blurry, right? Yes, yes it is. Why? Bugger knows. It's dark over here, whoa. <sighs> now what are we gonna get in Pico 8 today? Another misplaced one? I don't know. Oh! Cowboy again. I'm sure we've had a cowboy. Yes, we have. Oh. And he had a stocking in that one. We've got a present in this one, so it's not a repeat. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get any matches in this one. Whoop. That? Well, that's just a tree, isn't it? That's exactly a tree. Or it's a very fluffy muffin. A fluffin, you could call it. Yeah, you know. What else could it be? And behind it? What the? Oh. It's a bauble. A dragon bauble. Look at all the stars on it. Cool, I've got one of the dragon baubles now. Only six more and I can make a wish. Were there seven of them? I don't know, I've never watched any of it. I think I might have watched like episode one, possibly two, of the original Dragon Ball series. Oh yeah, and I've watched a GT, which is like non-canon, right? Or something. Yeah, I didn't particularly care for it. But I'm probably not all that interested. I'm put off by the fact that you know, characters can die and keep coming back to life, apparently. And also, sometimes they spend multiple episodes just powering up and doing nothing. What's the pun? I mean, it's got to be loved for a reason, right? Maybe I'll watch it one day. I don't know. Watch Yu Yu Hakusho instead. Much better. Anyway. What have we got today? Is a mystery. Mmm. What have we got? Door number 10. We're finally on a different page. Man, this makes me feel like we're not even halfway. Well, we're not, are we? But, you know, the, the fact that this is only page 2 that we're starting, page 2 of 4, it makes it feel like we're less of the way through the year than we are. You know, it feels like we're just now a quarter of the way towards Christmas. But no, we're more like a third. Over, over a third, actually. 10. It's a truck. Oh, it says plow. Do we finally get to play snow plow? Uh, yes, it's here. Snow plower. Now the trouble is, Santa panic. Okay, that's changed. So Santa panic, I guess, is the new one that I accidentally opened at the end of the month. Maybe. Maybe it'll get replaced again at some point. We'll find out. Snowplower, a scathing critique of our modern society. Surely this is a first in the indie game community. Probably. Better plow that snow, just make sure to be efficient or you may get sacked. Can we actually do it this time without getting sacked? Because you can't bloody well sack me when I couldn't do it last time. I was too busy swinging stars. Oh, now we're plowing snow. Wait. Snowplower, it's Christmas Day. And you're the only one working the snowplow today. Can you clear out all the snow? Probably. You know, it's me after all. Oh my god, oh my god. How many levels? What the? Is it supposed to be hard? Maybe it will be eventually. Oh, do you have to, like, not go off the snow? Okay, yeah. 
is one of these kind of games. I kind of like these. These are in Link's Awakening? Something? There was also one or two of these in Legend of Grimrock 2, I believe. Maybe even the first one as well. Yeah, I kind of weirdly like these. Until they start getting too complicated. This one doesn't seem like it will. Because, you know, what could you possibly do with all this space? Yeah, this is one of those puzzle games that makes me feel like my brain actually has some ability left in it. Which is a rarity. A rare delight for me. Alright, now we're getting complicated. Not really. Yeah, man. Oh, I'm so good. How many levels can I do before fudging it up? Um, this one. Nope, never mind, I've done it. <laughs> yeah. You know, half the battle of these kind of games is figuring out which one to start with. Which direction to start. Alright. Now we're jumping in to the deep end, or whatever the hell. Is this going to be any good? Hmm. Uh. Yep. There you go. Yes, indeed. Ah, that was scary for a moment there. Wait. Oh, Scheisenhauer. Fart! Oh. Never bloody mind, it got difficult now. The only time I don't like this kind of game is when the levels get so long and it starts to take forever starting over. Majorly incorrect, we don't do that. Although, maybe. Oops, no. Okay, you definitely don't go left, it seems. Oops. What have I done? I can't believe there's over 24 levels of this. I do think this is the way you start. Russell, Russell Crow. Hmm. What if we go over here just for a giggle? No. No, you don't do that. Never mind, I think I'm gonna get the sack. I can't do this many in one night or day, whatever. Probably do have to come down here first. Hmm. What if we go up here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope. Don't go right. Hmm. Now we fudged it again. Unless. Nah, definitely. salvaged it. I can't believe it. <clears throat> that was almost reset button. My finger was hovering over it. It was twitching. Ready to press at any second. Uh, well, no, this is incorrect, isn't it? Unless we finish over there, which we probably won't. Easy. Or was it? 
Yes, yes it was. I can see the path ahead now. Oh, I say it was easy, but I was worried I naffed it up for a moment. Sometimes I'm surprised how far ahead I can plan in these. You know, not to toot my own horn, there's people who are probably far more better at it than me. Well, obviously, but... You know, nothing wrong with being proud of yourself a little bit. When your brain can actually manage to do something. Uh, this one's naff, doesn't it? Oh, no. <coughs> I was worried that middle bit down there was going to get left behind. The middle pokey bit. Well, we've done eight levels, and eight is my number, so you know. Well, this doesn't leave me many options for how to start, does it? Um, looks like you end at that sticky down bit there. Bum, bum. go from here. Yep. This is fine. Some of these just play themselves, you know. Ooh. Good job you can't go the wrong way. Ah. Yeah, this is going to be placing high in the rankings. Tons of levels as well. Which is always nice. This could be a problem. I'm changing my mind now, I don't want to play this anymore. I don't like these kind of games. Oh, you gotta end down there, actually. I've just realised. it somehow. Partly luck, honestly, on this occasion. Hmm. If you think I'm going to be doing 24 plus levels of this, well, you're right. No, you're not, don't worry. They've designed this one deviously. to detect when I've completed the level. Wire into my brain so that you know that I've done it, and then just auto-complete the rest of it for me. Now. Now we're talking. This is big boy stuff right here. Look at this shit. you got to be at least 50 years old to brain this. Just know I haven't just naffed it. Wait, 50 years old? The brain's probably starting to deteriorate by then. When is the brain at its highest value of ability? What the fuck? What's it supposed to be? Level 1, basically. Well, I guess. I guess the peak of brain performance varies depending on how you use your brain throughout life. Now this is just an unnecessary tedious start. Anytime you naff this up, you just gotta do this bit again and waste like 10 seconds. Oh wait, we gotta finish down there. Hmm. Utterly devious. Oh, yep, done it. That was a fairly easy one, honestly. I can't feel too proud of that one. Sorry for this lengthy one. You know, in, I just realised, in these videos that I've had like the... 
that, that one that was just like the static, or not static image, but it was just an image of like snow falling and stuff. Should have been doing like AI dungeon afterwards or something. Yep. There we go, that one's done. I'm starting to see the pattern in how they're making these levels now. Their thought processes, they're using the same tricks. Mm, AI dungeon or talk to transformer. I'm sorry if this year's advent calendars aren't as interesting. I hope they're still enjoyable anyway. What have you done to make this one challenging at all? If anything. In fact, no, this should be just... Yeah, this isn't challenging at all. What? This is a completely pointless one to exist. I'm sorry, but it's just true. Yeah. a little bit worried for a moment. Imagine if I'd failed that after getting all cocky. <clears throat> okay. I think I've already sussied this one. No, not quite. But yeah, pretty much. You sassy backer. Might as well go this way. Just to keep it simple. Well, at least this year is still more interesting than the earlier years when I first started doing advent calendars, I guess. You know, back then I used to just do the chocolate and that was it. Do you remember one year where I just silently opened it and ate it and then put my middle finger up on the camera? Monocle! And then there was someone in the comment who said, bad day. And to this day I feel bad about that. Like I wasn't I wasn't flipping off the viewers, I'm sorry. It was just something I did back in the day. As a bit of a giggle. You know, if you watch some of my other cringy old real life videos, sometimes I just stick my middle finger up at the camera for a laugh for no particular reason. But now I feel bad. Thinking the viewers of that particular advent calendar think I was sticking my middle finger up at them. No, I wasn't. I promise. I'm sorry. What a thing to do on Christmas. Oh, have I nashed this one finally? That's ah, alright, I can salvage it. E. Yeah, Merry Christmas, have a middle finger. Way to ruin the Christmas spirit. God, well done, me. Can we do 24? I'm sorry this is going on for so long. I wouldn't mind seeing, like, how many more there are after 24. Became testicles or cherries actually. If your testicles are that disconnected, I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> what was that? Something 01. Is it 201? I don't know. Right, two more after this, can we do it? But there was one hard level. Have I succeeded at all of them except that one? First try. again, but even smaller. Eee. Ooh. From Bloodstained. Another monocle. Small one this time. Without a hole in it, so it's not very useful. And... 24. You know, same as always. Whichever way you go, you've got your ending position already planned out, so it's just a matter of Caught me out there. 
little bit. Only a little bit. I'm not going to give you too much credit. Bit of a slip of the brain there from me, but... There you go, how many more levels we got after this? Depending on how many there are, I may or may not finish this game. I swear, if it's another bloody 24. Right, how many? Oh god, oh my god, it continues. Oh my days, well... You certainly get a lot of content for your 10th day of December. I do want to keep going. Nah. You kind of get the point by now, don't you? Anyway, I hope you're having a good December so far. I don't know what your personal experiences are or feelings with your family. But, you know. If you're on good terms with your family or whatever, make sure you show them love. Tell them you love them. And enjoy some company together. And stuffage. Enjoy this shiny, sparkly time of year. And, you know, watch some Paul's Gaming. <laughs> what could be better? You know? Drax Gaming. I've naffed this one. I have as well. Oh, I think that's enough for that. <clears throat> this one wouldn't take long anyway, probably. Just one more attempt, but yeah. I'm not doing more than 49. How many pages of this are there? Maybe there's a hundred. This is quality enough that you could pay a quid for it and be quite happy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying so far. Um... If you somehow haven't known, feel free to check out my main YouTube channel, Piece of Pie Software, for daily Christmas specials there too, every day of the month, all the way up until New Year's Eve. But see you tomorrow for another one. Happy holidays. <laughs> mm.